Yes. My goal coming into this year was to win Rookie of the Year and to make the Bassmaster Classic. 26 pounds, 13 ounces. And Jay Shakurin is your brand new leader. Yeah, yesterday, you know, I stumbled on a pretty big school of fish yesterday at around 9.30. And uh, I put most of my bait in the, or most of my weight in the boat like before noon. So, you know, I'm optimistic to see if they're still there or not. The goal today is gonna be 25 pounds. If I don't catch that, I hope I catch something a little under that. And, you know, these guys are gonna smash them again, so I'm gonna have to catch another big bag and uh, we'll see what happens. I'm definitely excited to get out there. I've just been really fortunate this year to have some great finishes and, you know, the fish have just stayed in the areas that I found and, uh, oh, God. Yeah, I'm definitely fortunate for that and I'm just excited for the day ahead. Yes. I'm pretty optimistic to get back out there and see what I actually found. You know, this is a four day tournament, so three more days to go. Hopefully I make the top 10. No big ones yet, but. <laughs> this is an absolute giant. I'm catching the majority of my fish on a drop shot, a half shell straight king, getting green pumpkin purple, and then paired with a Wu Tungsten 3A sounds weight. You know, it's pretty much a staple for anywhere in the north, a, a good drop shot bait, and dropping it on their heads is one way I love to catch them. Oh, God, man. Oh, my God. Yes! <laughs> How about that for a start for day number two? Yeah, it's been a quick start to the morning. I already got a limit. I mean, coming up here, well, here in general, but you know, down south or any of those places, coming from central Wisconsin, I mean, I had only been out of the state for a couple of years fishing as a co-angler, and I fished one year as a boater. And uh, you know, I didn't know if my skill set was ready for it, but apparently in this tournament it is, and uh, I'm just ready to get out there again. Ever since I was a kid, I mean, just fishing in general, like, it's not even about the money or anything. Like, obviously I want to make money and do well in this and be a part of this for a long time. It's just a passion of mine that I've had for a long time. And it would mean everything. And it mean everything for the people that support me too. I mean, my girlfriend, my parents, everybody. It's family, friends. Yeah, it would be absolutely wild. I got one in the box that I'd consider bringing to weigh in. The rest of them still got to go, but it's not even nine o'clock yet, so I'm not too worried. Just got to keep throwing at them, and hopefully we put four more good ones in the box. Probably a nice four pounder, so. Definitely help. Yeah, competing at this level is, so I fished the Bassmaster Opens and that's a really high level of competition. And this is almost taking that level of competition and timesing it by two. I mean, these guys find almost everything. I mean, unless we're on a body water take for granted like this, that's so long and there's so many places to fish. But on most of the places we go, I mean, these guys find everything. I mean, they're that good. They've, they're that good for a reason. And uh, yeah, the level of competition is, Unlike anything I've seen. Oh, that's a big fat one. Yes. To have a chance to even come close to winning is, I don't know if that'll happen ever in the next couple of years, it'll happen in the next tournament. I mean, you don't know. You, you gotta take these moments and hopefully make the best of them. My dad fishes as a professional angler on the walleye side. So I grew up watching him compete in tournaments. And I didn't necessarily fish walleyes, but uh, you know, I would be at his weigh-ins and things like that. And he always took me fishing. I think the first time I was fishing was when I was two. Just let me take you back to the, to the weigh-in. I'm only gonna keep you for a little bit. This will give a guy a heart attack. Got him. Ain't a six, but it's 
That was big. <laughs> Thank you. Oh boy. It's a monster. <laughs> This is the one we've finally been waiting for. Gosh dang. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> That's a monster smallmouth. Right where you want them. I trade that's a good trade. I'll let that one go. My primary area, it was firing like the first hour. And instead of catching the five pounders like I wanted, I caught a lot of three to three to four pounders. And I did get uh, one pretty big one there and another nice one there. And then I just pulled up to one of my secondary areas on the way back to the ramp. And, uh, but I had like a three and a half pounder in the well and I called it with a five and a half right here, which put me up somewhere near 24 pounds. And uh, my smallest fish right now is four pounds. So we'll see how big this one is. But other than that, the afternoon's been slow other than this spot I just pulled up on right now and I've caught, already caught four or five fish. But uh, I just could not get the four pounders going on my other spot. That's a big one. There we go. It's probably a four and a half. Four and a half that calls out a four pounder. That one's going back. Big old male, skinny. Five fish all alive. 25 pounds, eight ounces. With 52 pounds, five ounces, Jay Securet is once again leading the seventh stop of the Bassmaster Elite Series. Yeah, solid day yesterday. After day number two, I had another 25 and a half pounds. Uh, you know, I still have a lot of fish in my area. They're just getting a little bit hard to bite. I think they're feeling the pressure a little bit. Um, there's a decent morning bite, so I'm hopefully I can get on that right away. If not, you know, I'm gonna have to bounce around a little bit and, uh, you know, hopefully I catch some more five, five and a half pounders. That's what I'm gonna need to, to maintain my lead. And we'll see. I mean, it's gonna be another perfect conditions day to run out to the lake and so is tomorrow. So if I can make it to tomorrow, I'm really excited to see what my chances are. Today was an absolutely crazy day. I mean, I pulled up to my main area and uh, it was not happening. I mean, there was no wind. And uh, the fish were there, but they just would not commit. I had a lot of followers today, a lot of short bites, and uh, I ended up coming out of my main area with, with two good fish. I got some stuff over in Canada that I might go take a peek at today. I haven't been there all week. So, and then I have one other area that I ended on yesterday afternoon. Caught some nice fish. So we'll probably have to bounce around a little more today. I was hoping it'd be easy on this spot, but unfortunately. I got two of the fish I need today in the box, so that's good. My, uh, my primary area, my fish are still here. They're just, they got a little lock jawed on me. They're really hard to catch. But other than that, I mean, I got, three or four more areas that I want to hit today, so I'm not too worried about what I have right now. I mean, it's only 9.20 in the morning and we got till three, so. I'm gonna try and hopefully maybe catch one or two more here, and then uh, I'm gonna head out of here a little bit earlier than I have been. It's number five. I think I picked through this area pretty good and uh, I had some fish going late in the day yesterday in a different area, so I'm excited to get on those fish. And 
I needed a little bit of a cushion because I didn't know if my secondary area would produce. So at about 10.30, I made my way to my secondary area and uh, it turned out there was a, they were there and there was a lot of them there. And uh, I caught a lot of nice fish. Oh God, it's a giant one. Here we go, baby. The spots got them. They are ever, there's like seven or eight with it too. Come on, baby, just give up. Catch 25 pounds right here. Number three, third good one. I just moved from my primary area to where I caught the rest of my fish yesterday. And I didn't realize there's this many fish here, but there's a lot of fish here right now. There's a lot of three pounders. I'm excited to see what the rest of the day is gonna bring here. I'm gonna stay here for a while and see what I can get and then uh, try and get up to that mark I wanna be at. But so far, so good. At least these fish are biting in my primary area. They were just, for whatever reason, not in the mood. Yeah, my day's been uh, unbelievable. I mean, I didn't think this morning after my spot didn't pan out really, that I'd really have a legit shot. I mean, I knew I had a good shot at a good bag, but. It's an absolute giant. To have what I had now and I went to my secondary area and it turns out that uh, that area has a lot of fish in it. I mean there's, I don't know, at one point I counted probably over a hundred smallmouth on that spot just that I could see with my eyes. Oh, and uh, you know there's a lot of three pounders there but there's some big ones mixed in and I end up catching that six and a half pounder there late in the day. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I mean I'm just ready to weigh these things in and See where I stand, and I'm ready to get after him tomorrow. Nice. 24 pounds, 12 ounces. Get loud for Elite Series rookie, Jay Shakuret. I mean, the outlook for tomorrow is to catch what I caught today. I think I have somewhere around like close to a three pound lead in this tournament. I mean, on smallmouth, that's almost like a whole fish. And I fish a lot of smallmouth tournaments in my life. and. When you have a three pound lead, it's almost yours to lose. And uh, you know, I'm gonna go out there and do my job tomorrow and I'm just gonna have fun with it. I mean, whatever happens, happens. It's just smallmouth fishing. I mean, there's so many big ones out here and uh, I'll be happy with the result either way. If I win or if I lose, either way I'll be happy. Yes, sir. What a way to start out the morning. <laughs> it's gonna take over 100 pounds, 24 to 25. That was my goal every day of the tournament. Anytime you can get, in my eyes, anytime you can get over a 23 to 23 and a half pound hump in a smallmouth tournament. Oh my God. I think he just jumped like five feet in the air. That's a big deal. There's always that hump, that 22 to 23 pound range. I mean, it sounds ridiculous because a 22, 23 pound bag is, is a big bag. Oh, it's a freaking giant one. Look at him, Oh my God. Three, it's six. <laughs> Six pounder. There's a lot more life here today. And uh, I'm hoping to capitalize on a little bit of a morning bite I had. I've got two in the box so far. Two of the right ones anyways. And uh, we'll see, hopefully I can 
I feel like I can put five good ones in the box here, or at least a couple more, and just get get the day rolling on a good start. Either way, it's a good start with those two good ones. I would be happier than heck with a 23 pound bag, but anytime you can get over that hump, it just separates you from the guys that have the four pounders and the guys that have the five pounders. And uh, that's what I'll be shooting for. Not a big one, but get a limit first. We got four. My dad fishes as a professional angler on the walleye side. Yeah, even though he was a walleye fisherman, like he just had, he, I learned the mentality from him to be, you know, not be nervous, not get overwhelmed, things like that. And uh, yeah, he's pretty much the one that's taught me the mental side of things. And you know, he's taught me other things too. And he's taught me pretty much everything about fishing in general outside of, you know, coming here and leading this tournament somehow. But, uh, yeah, I think my dad's more nervous for this tournament than I am, to be honest with you, because he was fishing a tournament on Green Bay, and he, all he could think about was how I was doing when he got He could have cared less how he was doing when he called me. So, yeah, it's all about that. I mean, it would pretty much mean everything to me. Like, ever since I was a kid, well, I still am kind of a kid, but... Oh wow, that was really close to breaking. Glad that wasn't a five pounder. There he woke up. That's a big one. Oh, come on. <laughs> Go four and a half. There is a freaking big one. Come on, stay on. This is it. <laughs> yes. Unbelievable. That's like a five and a half pounder. So Jay, you feel like you're safely in the Century Club now? I think so. That's the trade. Is that really? <laughs> a 
pretty, that's probably the biggest fish I've ever caught in my life. Not weight wise, but tournament fishing wise. And oh my. Oh, I didn't even see it. <laughs> oh boy. Thank you. Thank you. 25 8! And Elite Series rookie Jay Securant makes history weighing in the biggest bag of smallmouth ever with 102 pounds, 9 ounces. Smallmouth history is made by an Elite Series rookie. Weighed in the biggest bag of smallmouth bass in fishing history with 102 pounds and 9 ounces. New York, you guys have been incredible. You roll out the red carpet every single time we come here. Marathon, peak performance.